I refuse to be average. This is a statement that I have continually purported in my life more and more. You know, there's this idea out there right now that is just that first half of the phrase, I refuse to be average. And on the one hand, I completely and totally agree with the idea that average today is horrible. With the huge gap between the rich and the poor, with the huge gap between those who are successful and those who are just barely making it and don't even know how to put beans on the table. I gotta tell you that we're all missing the boat. You see, when we start to talk about the law of averages, the idea of an average in any situation in life that I can imagine is that we want the average to always be at its highest point. We never want an average with a huge gap where the median is somewhere in between. The idea is to close the gap between the everything in our world. If everyone could live completely full in their life, if everyone could be fed, if everyone could be provided for, if everyone had what it, just enough to be able to make ends meet, instead there was a place where we all began to find a common ground. Now I know my, my really well-off friends right now what they're saying. They're saying, well, Les, hold on just a second. Not everybody can be successful. And I understand many of us play the game as though we've got to put to death and kill the person that is just ahead of us in order for us to be able to succeed. We look at the guy on the street corner and we say, well, he just needs to go get a job and apply himself and find a way to increase his, his worth in this world. And I got to tell you, it's not that easy. You see, that's basing our lives on the idea that, that this status actually has something to do with who we are as individuals, that me as a successful person is somehow in some way any kind of different than the person who is not achieving life like we or I believe it should be lived. We can't walk this path called humanity, this life. We can't be on this journey together in such a way where my way is the only way. Any more than this tree standing behind me can say, this yard is the only way to ever live your life. And yet the irony of ironies is that we are continually fighting against the go to just make everybody homogenized, to look just like us, to act just like us. We come up with cliches that we expect everyone to wrap their minds around and be able to just fall in line and do the things that they're supposed to do. And guys, my plea to you is don't buy in to all of the homogenization, the enculturation of of lies that people tell you because there is an absolute truth that really exists. And it might surprise you that my absolute truth or the absolute truth that I believe in is ultimately not anything like you might imagine. At the very core of our essence, of our being, we live in the cosmos, not even at the center of the cosmos, mind you, but just at this little blip on the screen. But that little blip on the screen is in the middle of this huge, massive piece of growth, this expansive universe that is growing by, by universes as we speak. The world looks expansive in those worlds. True riches, true contentment resides in places where there is ultimately expansion. I refuse to be average until average raises its standards.